Hello artists, are you ready? Today we are gonna create a bowl of ice cream inspired by Claude Monet. This is an example of one type of way you can make this picture. So what we're gonna do today is we're going to just draw the basics, find a pencil and find a piece of paper. I'm using an 11 by 14 piece of white, very thick drawing paper that came from a pad in an art bag. So let's go ahead and get started. With your pencil and your finger, I want for you to find the middle of your paper. Find the middle and make a dot. Just a little dot. At the bottom of your paper, I want you to use three fingers and at the bottom center, using your three fingers, place them all together, one, two, three, and from the middle of the paper, draw a dot on the other side of your fingers. You see how my one finger is lined up with the edge of the paper and the other one's right there? That's what we're going for. What we're doing right now is we are setting ourselves up for drawing the top and the bottom of the bowl. Now, I would like for you to start at your top dot and you're gonna draw out to the edge until you get about three fingers away right there. It helps sometimes to just start drawing. Then determine where you need to stop by using that three finger rule. Another way you could do it is just line up your three fingers and draw out to them. You just wanna make sure you're drawing a straight line as much as possible. Every time we finish a step, if you need to pause before we go on to the next step, then go ahead and do so. And that way you don't feel like you're going to get behind. For the next step, we're going to draw the bottom of the bowl. And this time we're gonna use a four finger rule. We're gonna start at the dot, not the edge. So line up your four fingers next to the center dot you just made. So my one finger is right next to the dot and I go across my fingers, don't draw on your fingers, to the other side, make a dot on the other side. What this is doing is this is gonna help us create a nice flat bowl and from this dot we'll start to curve up. This will help it make it even on both sides. So I do the same thing on the other side. Line up my fingers with the dot right here, make a dot on the other side, and then from there, now I've got two dots on either side equally distanced from the middle one. All right, so let's start making the bottom of our bowl. I'm gonna draw from the center dot out to one, center dot out to the other. From there, I'm gonna curve my line up to here, or I could start at the top and come down. You might wanna watch and see how I do it the two different ways first, and then decide which way you like the best. I'm gonna start over here. I'm gonna draw straight down, keeping my line straight with the edge of the paper. Then, as I get close to the bottom, I curve in. Another way to do it is to start at the bottom and curve up and aim the best you can towards the top. I don't like this way as much because I think it's kind of a guessing game to see if I'm aiming the right way. I like to start at the top and come down. But that's my personal artist preference and my artist choice. Once you have your bowl, we're gonna draw the ice cream. For the ice cream, what you wanna do is start with that little dot. Do you remember where it is? If you still have it, great. If you can't see it, make a little mark in the middle of your line. Now make a little mark halfway between that line and the edge of the bowl. Halfway point. Do the same thing on this side. You're not really measuring with a ruler. You're just eyeing it. It's just a guess. Okay, now I want you to think about a tennis ball or a small tangerine. And I want you to think about a rainbow shaped arch line. 
watch how I draw my first scoop of ice cream. It's a nice big arch. I want it to be big. I don't want it to be short and squatty. I need something to really color in later. So make sure you make it a nice big arch. Go ahead and do one now, and I'll show you how to do the rest. I like to do the next one right next to it, and it's okay if the line's kind of bumpy, because ice cream's kind of bumpy. Then, starting, not necessarily at the dot, but at the side of the ice cream, because think about it, these scoops would be touching each other. I'm gonna go over here, but if I go a little past the line, look what I can do. Make a crinkly frosted edge where it got scooped out of the big canister in the ice cream cooler. On the other side, I'm gonna show you how to draw a drip. I go up, keeping all my ice cream scoops about the same height. And then when I come down the edge, I go close to the edge of the bowl. But as soon as I get near the bottom, I go out a little bit to make a bump. And that's the drip that's pulling the ice cream down the side of my bowl. Okay, are you ready to make the next row? This is going to be a lot like bowling pins. Every row is gonna have less, 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 but we need to make sure we don't get too high so that we have room at the top and we don't wanna go too low or else there'll be nothing to color in later and that would be really sad. Go to the top of each of your scoops and make a little antenna, tiny, tiny. Okay. Now we're going to draw from antenna to antenna, making a scoop. You don't have to make your scoops as big as you did on the bottom. Don't make them squatty. Here we go. One. Remember, start on the side of the scoop when you draw a new one. You don't have to start at the antenna. Two. And if they're kind of bumpy, that's okay. It's like real ice cream, right? Oh, there's a good bumpy one. Let's make the next row. Antenna, antenna, antenna. Now only two scoops. We're subtracting each row by one. Our first row had four. Our second row had three. This row has two. And you know what happens next. But here's the thing. I'll show you how to draw whipped cream at the top of your ice cream if you like. So don't go all the way to the top with your last scoop. Here we go. Antenna, antenna. And this guy, I'm going to make him a little bit shorter because I want to save some room for whipped cream. Now we're not going to add it yet. We need to add our table. So I'd like for you to please put your finger halfway between the top and bottom of your bowl right here on the side. Take your pencil and draw a straight line out to the edge of the paper, all the way to the edge. Now use your finger and draw an imaginary line across your bowl. When you get to the other side, that's where you continue the table line. Why do we draw it so high? It's because you don't need to show the bottom of the bowl right at the edge of the table. That means that the bowl was sitting at the edge of the table. Our bowl's not. It's sitting in the middle of the table. So we make it further in the table. And that means the edge of the table looks further away, so higher on the paper. That's about perspective. Let's make some whipped cream. Okay, whipped cream. You don't have to have it if you don't want it. But I'm going to show you how to make some whipped cream hot fudge, a cherry on top, a cookie, mint leaf, banana, candy straw, spoon, and then some things to go at the bottom. As you're looking, think about the things you do and don't want, and you can always go back and draw things in if you decide you want them later. Four whipped cream. 
you're going to start on the sides of the top scoop. And watch what I draw. I go up and I make a straight hook in. And I'm going to make end up making three of these. So there'll be another layer and then the top layer. So you want to save yourself some room. The next layer starts halfway across the top of the hook. Watch where I start. There, come over. There, come over. It doesn't matter if your two sides don't match. It's whipped cream. It's gonna be eaten pretty quickly anyways, right? Okay, last one. Now this one's a little different because it's gonna end up with a curly Q hook on the top. So we're going to start by going up. Same thing on both sides. Now you're gonna wanna watch first and then maybe rewind. This one is gonna be the top line. So I curve up as high as I can go and make a curl like that. The other side is gonna come and meet the end of that curl, but underneath that hook. So you can start on the other side, come underneath it, and come up and meet that little hook. For a cherry on top, I'm gonna to draw part of a circle, like a moon going over a whipped cream mountain. And I'm going to make a stem. I have to make two sides of my stem so I can color it in later. You can't just draw a line because you can't color in a line. Time for some hot fudge. Are you ready? Here we go. Hot fudge. Think about if you've poured it on, it's coming on drips. And some of the drips are small and some of the drips are bigger, but they're very soft and curvy like that. Make extend all the way from one side to the other. I don't put hot fudge on all the ice creams. I just do it on the top ones, but it's your artist's choice. You can decide Maybe it's not even hot fudge. Maybe it's caramel, butterscotch, chocolate, magic shell, maybe marshmallow fluff. What are you putting on your ice cream? Is every scoop gonna have something different? Okay, we need something to eat this ice cream with. Let's make a spoon. Now, you don't see the scooper part of the spoon, you just see the handle. And to make a handle for your spoon, you know, you could pull a spoon out from your house and look at that spoon, or you can draw two straight lines like this, just to start it, and then do any kind of fancy end on your spoon that you like. The spoons at my house go out just a little bit and then they come in like that. Uh, that doesn't really look like much right now, but that's okay. When I color it in later, it'll look like a spoon. Mmm, you know what I'm in the mood for? A cookie. I think we should add a cookie to our ice cream. You don't have to, just decide if you want one or not. And it's kind of like how you drew the cherry, but bigger. It doesn't have to be as straight and uh, non-bumpy as mine. I would kind of wish I'd made it bumpier because real cookies don't look so precise. So I'm going to make up for that by making some chunky chocolate chips. It'll look more like a chocolate chip cookie once I color it. Hey, can I show you an artist trick? Make a half of a chip at the edges it'll make your chocolate chip cookie look a little more realistic. You can even make some small ones too to fill in small areas. 
Oh, you know what? It's time to go bananas. Sometimes people like to put bananas in their ice cream and call it a banana split. Here's how I would do a banana. I would draw up, curve at the end, because remember this is an unwrapped banana. And as I come back, it kind of fans out and gets bigger. So bigger at the bottom and a smaller hump at the other end. No decoration on that banana. I'm just gonna leave it alone. Okay, would you like to put a candy straw in your ice cream sundae? A candy straw, sometimes they're peppermint, sometimes they're cookie, and they're simply just two lines, like a straw, but make it a little wider than your average straw. And I'll show you how to make the top. The top is made by drawing an oval this. This shows that this is a round thing. It helps to give it that three dimensionality that you're looking for. Is yours striped? I've seen cookie straws that have the cookie part and then a chocolatey layer like this. So I'm going to make mine striped. You don't have to make yours striped or make one at all. All right. This is a fancy ice cream sundae, so I'm gonna stick a mint leaf in it. A mint leaf would look like this. Mint leaves have a lot of little lines around the edges. So I use a zigzag line to draw up one side. And when I decide I'm at the top, I go straight up. And that means that the top of it will have a little triangle like that how do I finish the other side? Well, you've got a choice. You can start at the top and work back down or start at the bottom and work back up. Since I left off right here, I'm going to start off here and watch the direction my zigzags go to make sure I make a leaf shape that I want. Not yet finished. I have to add the veins. So I draw a line through the middle and since vein starts with the letter V, I draw a lowercase V at the top and a capital V at the bottom. All right. Do you want to draw some things that go with your ice cream sundae? Maybe a bottle of sprinkles, a strawberry, a little puddle, maybe a marshmallow. I'm gonna show you how to draw some things now from our worksheet. So if you would like to add some of these things that you see, then feel free to do so. Let's start with a little puddle. This little puddle has to go right here. Anything else, I can choose where it goes. So I'm going to go down here to the bottom of my bowl under my drip and make the tiniest little puddle. Whatever I end up painting this color ice cream, I will paint that as well. The next thing I'm going to make is a marshmallow. A marshmallow is kind of like a square. I'm going to start with the top and I'm going to make a hook a line and a hook. That's the top of the marshmallow. Then I draw a line that goes out a little bit and then down to make it as tall as I'd like it to be. And I don't make a straight line across. The bottom is kind of curved to show this is a three dimensional round marshmallow. So a little bit of a smile line right there. I can do an extra little line right there if I like to make it look more round like a marshmallow. Would you like to draw a strawberry? Here's how you make a strawberry. You start with a little stem. 
Now we're gonna make four pointy triangles, kind of like carrots. Two on one side, two on the other side. It ends up making something that looks like a funny star. Now from the top, even from the stem, over the funny star, I'm gonna draw the body of the strawberry. Starting on one side, it's kind of like a heart, but I don't connect it at the bottom like a heart. Instead, I'm gonna draw just some bumpy lines at the bottom. After I paint this later, I'll come back and put on the dots. I don't wanna do it right now. Do you want any sprinkles on your ice cream? Let's make a little sprinkle container. We start a sprinkle container with an oval that looks like a flattened pancake. You're gonna need to draw down here, so make sure you don't put it in your drip. Next, I draw the sides of the cap. A little line down both sides. Drawing things that are three-dimensional, it's important to look at the lines you're using. This is a slight curve. I need to draw the exact same parallel, slightly curved line that I see right there, right below it, to really give the idea that it's a round three-dimensional cap. Okay, I have a drip here, so I wanna be careful when I draw the sides of my um, sprinkle container down. I don't wanna run into my drip. I'll start with this side because this side determines how far down I go. Don't draw all the way if you have this sort of situation. I need to draw the bottom and it's gonna curve like this line. So I go in a little bit from the edge of the cap and I draw straight down. I'll match this side with the same length as this side. When I'm ready, I draw a nice curved line like this, connecting the two sides. Don't worry about details on the top yet. We'll get to those later. The last thing I'm gonna show today is how to make this container for hot fudge. I'm going to make it over here where I've left myself lots of room. Start this container the same way you started your sprinkles container, but a smaller cap. So a smaller flat oval. Same little lines down the side. Sometimes smaller caps have taller lines than bigger ones because that makes it easier for the customer to grab onto if it is a little taller. So it's okay if your lines go down a little longer than it did on this one. Same curved line here goes here. Now this bottle is going to have a skinnier neck. So I just draw straight down on both sides. Then I'm going to draw shoulders. Try to make them match on either side of the bottle. Aren't you happy you made such a high table so you have all the places to set up all your special things? Now we're gonna draw straight down. Make both sides match the best you can. And because this is a round bottle, we'll make the bottom a smile line again to show that it's curved all the way around. What kind of label do you want on your bottle? You can have just a nice curved label or you can do something a little bit more crazy and dynamic like that if you like. 
It's completely up to you. Circle, you're the designer of this particular bottle and what's in it, so you decide what you want. I'm going to make an easy label by making a nice slightly curved label that goes on the front, but I'll make it a little fancier by giving it a nice edge right here. All right. We have one more thing that we need to do to our picture, and that is design the bowl. Now, I know you might be thinking, what about the sprinkles and the color? That's gonna come later. Don't worry about that. We're also going to be doing designs on our wallpaper. But right now we need to decide what we're going to do on the bowl. You could do anything. You could make polka dots. You could draw hearts. You could make stars or spirals or just basic stripes like I made. I used a ruler to make this. That's how they are so straight. So what are you going to do? I'm going to finish off my bowl with some fun designs. I hope you had fun drawing your ice cream today. And I look forward to showing you how to color this in later. I'll see you then.